Good afternoon, everybody. This is John, uh, Kilo Kilo 4, November Quebec, Quebec, or Soda Ranger. wanted to give you guys a quick video on my battery system. Uh, I had several guys asking uh, what I use for a battery, how I charged it, and what I charged it with. So I thought I'd show you guys. As you can see, my battery here. It's one of those zippy packs. It's an 8400 milliamp hour battery. Um, had a lot of good things about this battery so far. Used it on my last activation probably, oh, about a week and a half, two weeks ago. And I haven't charged it since. And I've been using it off and on for some, uh, some day, uh, you know, backyard applications. And it's been running real good. Hasn't even dropped below 12 volts yet. Uh, so I've been able to run my KX3 at 10 amps the whole time, no problem. Um, as you can see, I it does have some rather large wires running out. So what I did was I uh, put on some Anderson power pole, the uh, heavier connectors. I believe those are the 75 watt connectors. And Anderson power pole sells a adapter from 75 watt all the way down to your standard, uh, I believe those are the 45, 30, or 15 watts. They all fit together the same. It just depends on your, uh, your wire diameter. So what I did was I just attached that. And I attach that to this right here, which is my Hobby King uh, LiPo Life Battery Charger. Um, you can set it to charge either LiPos or Life. As you can see here, I've got it set to charge my Life Battery at 13.2 volts, 5 amps. Um, when it was first came to me and I had to fully charge it, it took a while. It took a good two, two and a half hours to charge it. It, it, it took a while, but now... Uh, it charges in probably under an hour, uh, depending on how far I've got it down. As you can see, it runs into a little circuit board there, which plugs into the balance charger for the battery, so it safely charges it. Um, I had to put Anderson power pole connectors, because you can see right here, it comes with many different kinds of connectors. Um, so what I did was I just cut off some that I don't use and attached Anderson power poles there. It works great. Now this charger, as it came, did not come with a power source. So what I did was I just bought a universal adapter from Amazon, and uh, you have to make sure it puts out a certain amount of voltage. And as you can see there, it's variable, um, and it works out really good. It was really inexpensive. It was probably only, I think it was less than $15 for that, and it plugs right into there. Um, it's very e it's kind of a spider setup. It's kind of connected every which way, but it works really well. And then of course, as you can see right here, this is plugs into my KX3. Again, it's Anderson power pole connectors. Um, and it'll just plug right into this adapter right here and right into my battery. So I've got it set up. So I'm going to just what it does is you just push play. And it'll blink if you want to change it. You don't, so you just hold it down. And it'll check the battery, and it'll start charging. And it will, actually one more time, and there we go. It'll start charging here. Um, this charger here, it's one of the cheaper ones. You can get them a little bit more expensive. My next you know, purchase would probably get a little bit better because it does heat up a little bit on the bottom um, through the charging process, so I kind of keep an eye on it. I put it on a safe surface, or as I've got it right here, so it's set up so there's air underneath it. Um, I, you know, from the RC industry, I kind of don't trust the LiPo batteries, and I know the Life batteries are much safer, but still, you always want to charge it in a safe location. I prefer the back deck out here. Um, set it up on a glass table in case anything happens. I've never had any trouble, but uh, you know you always want to be a little careful. But I'll set it up like this. It'll charge for an hour, and uh, it's a great setup. Um, here's the uh, case I actually put the battery in. It fits in perfectly. Um, this 8400 fits right in this uh, case. I think the case is made by Plano. I found it at Academy Sports. You can also find it at Amazon. It's a great little waterproof case. When it fits inside this case, um, side to side, it fits in just perfect. Uh, from top to bottom, just perfect. And it leaves about that much space um, so that you can have your connections right in this area here. So it really works out really well. It's not real heavy. Um, 
but I do like the extra added protection for when it's in a rucksack so that you don't, you know, beat it to death. And as you can see, it locks watertight and protects it beautifully. So that's what I use. I also have the same for my uh, the same type of box for my KX3, which is the uh, medium size. This is the small. They've got a medium. They also have a large. I'm hoping that when the new 100 amp uh, the 100 watt amplifier comes out, that the amp will fit inside the large box. That way, I can just have the set and it'll work out really well. But uh, as you can see, this is my setup. If you all have any questions, feel free to comment and uh, let me know what you guys think. And uh, ask any questions, feel free. But uh, thanks, guys. Again, this is John, Kilo Kilo 4, November, Quebec, Quebec, or Soda Ranger, saying 73s. And uh, thanks for watching, guys.